Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while. I missed you. As always, I am Pete Tonescreed Nethercoat, and we are back doing one of these very fabled vlogs that we used to do every once in a blue moon. And I thought it was within good reason, so uh, let's get back and enjoy some tea time, I guess. So yeah, if you clicked on this video, uh, you obviously see in the title, like where I've been, where we're going, what's next, you know? So I've probably come up with a really witty title and something like that. And we're just going to talk about it. So, obviously, the uh, when it's come to streaming, yeah, everything's fallen off and gone downhill and everything else. Lots of reasons to go about that, but we'll start at the beginning of the year. 2023 has been a bit of a, a roller coaster of a year. Um, it started as I knew it would, uh, with my nan passing away. Uh, and that kind of hit me a little bit, and I went through a, a little bit of a depressive stumble trying to get through that. I uh, grew very attached to her through the pandemic where I was looking after her and everything else. And uh, yeah, it was just very difficult to move on and everything else like that. And so that hit me. And uh, then there was a next part of building up for Race for Good, which we were going to plan to do this year. But uh, Andy decided to step away from the project and he's uh, withdrawn into doing what he is doing. I don't know. I've not really spoken to Andy since for a couple of months. Uh, he's withdrawn and he's doing his own thing. Best of luck to him. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's where that was. So that, that kind of, it kind of came quite quick on the back of my man passing. So there was uh, a large bit of that that all fell together and everything else. So, uh, but as you probably noticed, um, the surroundings are different. So what has happened is uh, I've moved north uh, in the UK. I've gone all the way from the bottom down in Portsmouth and I'm all the way up the top, up in Yarm uh, of England, so quite close to the border of Scotland, maybe, kind of, sort of, and uh, yeah, so we're up there, I'm working, I have a flat now, uh, I'm living up there, it's all good, stuff on the wall, not perfectly with where I want everything, I still need to get all the figures on display and everything else, and as you can tell, uh, over here, I've still got stuff that needs to go up on the wall. I've got loads of stuff out there that still needs to get framed and put up on the wall as well. Lots to do. Not perfect, but it feels more like a home with all of this stuff on the wall. Stuff from uh, uh, Imagni, if you know. Yeah, stuff from uh, Dean. Uh, good old Shaz. What you'll be able to see there as well. And then I've got some of the old BlizzCon stuff. And I'm trying to find it. This stuff here. This stuff. Oh my goodness. So this stuff uh, is how I met Olsen Wong through Summer of Sonic and he was working on his own project and he had some prints and I picked them up. So as for where we're going, this weekend I will be down at Sonic Fan Fest down in Bristol. That's been organised by Jono and Claire of Western Supersonic, if you know them. Uh, they've invited me down to uh, come and host some panels there again there's been a couple of bit of a change to the lineup uh so uh from what i'm aware of at time of recording i'll be doing uh the q a panel with tj davis i'll be doing a q a panel with abby bulmer uh of idw 2000 ad lots of other projects that she's done and i'll also be doing something with sonic paradox uh, a couple of members of sonic paradox uh, i believe it is there's at least three people from Sonic Paradox that's going to be at the event, and I think the panel is going to have the names I've been told have been Boozerman and Tyronic, which is brilliant. I haven't seen Boozerman since I think 2016 Summer of Sonic, so that's going to be brilliant to catch up and see. So that's where I'm going to be this weekend. That's, oh goodness, what is the date this weekend? The 14th? Yeah, something like that. I know a lot of people are at EGX, uh, but I'm hoping to see some of the Sonic contingent down in Bristol this weekend. It'll be good to catch up with all of them folks as well. Uh, I know uh, a couple of people are going to be there, and uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be fun seeing a lot of the faces again. I know Sonic the Comic Con was York, and uh, I'm going to see a lot of good faces there this year uh, after I'd moved. But did I move before then? No, I was still in the South when uh, some of the Comic Con was happening, I think. Yeah, and then everything changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, goodness. This year has just flown by. 
So that comes back around and then we get back to what are we going to do on the channel. I've been flipping and turning towards everything else and the biggest thing I want to do is I want to save the Let's Race and the Race for Good archive. So everything that is everything that I have that is a VOD of Let's Race and Race for Good will be coming to this channel. Uh, that will include uh, all the VODs, the uncut VODs. Uh, that will include all the highlights that we've done. And I'm going to try and get all that stuff set up, started with the most recent Race for Good, and try to get everything up on the channel. Uh, and then that also means that we've got the highlights. I'm going to try and make highlight videos of the old, older VODs. Just to try and get a bit of newer content up there and keep it continuous. I'm going to aim to do that while I go back into streaming. Now, at this point, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep streaming on Twitch or if I'm going to move to YouTube and stream on this channel. It would make keeping the VODs a lot easier. Uh, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, but it's something I'm still juggling around with. When I've made that decision, I'll let you folks know. Uh, but obviously, if you are subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you are following the Twitch channel, please go follow. At the end of the day, either one helps out it's gonna be brilliant and then we'll work out what we're gonna do what does that mean for let's race and race for good so let's race is very pliable uh i can do that with whoever i want whenever i want it's just about finding somebody to do it with there's a lot of people i've reached out to some are interested some are not it's it's about trying to find people who want to do that kind of thing play games casually, talk nonsense for a couple of hours, but it's finding those people who and trying to make a hole in their schedule. That's the more difficult part. So what does that mean for Race for Good then? I'm still toying with what to do with it. There was uh, an idea that's been floating around in my head, which is going to be, do I do it solo and we'll put the donations on, we'll get all the donations to special effects or another charity you know uh, and everything else or do i try and get various presenters on again it's something i've reached out to people it's a very lot of work a lot of people have said they're happy to work out for the charity event and everything else compared to like doing the let's race stuff again it's a very it's a very challenging prospect because i don't i don't know what i want to do with it but i want to keep it going because race for good and let's race for some of the, the better streaming funds I've had is the effort we put in and uh, the time in it, it it's, it's always been very very good and uh, I've come away smiling, a gasp, all those kind of things, you know how it goes uh, it's always been the more memorable stuff that's happened in the year uh, like in terms of streaming because that's the type of stuff you remember more and obviously you know, we did that point where I shaved my head once you know, how does that look? <laughs> We're back at a full head of hair. Plus. Um, so it's good, but I want to get back into it. Do we keep it Sonic? I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, it's a very easy thing to do. And there's a lot of people you can work with with it. And I know there's a lot of people that have offered. But we'll see how it goes. When I make that decision, as I said, I'll let people know here. But yeah, as I said, uh, that's going to be it for now. Um, if you're having a good cup of tea, enjoy it i know i will and uh, otherwise if you're going to be there this saturday at sonic fan fest i'll see you there come up say hi shake a hand give us a wave everything i will be around uh i'll be busy as well but yeah uh, i'll be around come take a picture come say hello i'd well, love to see you there but yeah that's it for now um as always stay safe love to see you this weekend if you're going if not I'll catch you around on the internet, wherever you are, wherever you be. Stay safe, say hi. I love you. Take care.